This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Well, we have definitely seen an increase in gun sales across our area the past few months. Yeah, Ariana, and because of that, police say gun thefts could become a bigger problem. Adam Rasmussen joins us live in the newsroom with more on this story. Good evening, Adam. Hey, Chris, police told me more than 80% of burglaries happen in the daytime when homeowners aren't around, but there are options out there to keep your guns protected. The safe place holds true to its name. Good luck breaking into one of these bad boys, which are in high demand. We are overwhelmed with business right now. At the safe place, you can find just about anything you need to protect your guns. If you plan on buying one of these certified safes, expect to spend anywhere from $900 to $9,000. And make sure you bolt it down, um, if at all possible, whether it's a subfloor or concrete. Anything's better than nothing. We asked Pete why he's seen such a surge in business recently. The restrictions that are being put on the firearms and everybody is trying to get their hands on what they can. And police say criminals are also getting their hands on what they can. The problem is most people don't like putting their guns in safes because they can't get to them. The bad guys know that and uh, they know where the common hiding places are, you know, in the nightstand, under your mattress, in, a, in your closet. Those are easy targets for criminals and homeowners make it a little easy on them. Police told us half of gun owners don't have a secure hiding spot. It's somewhere where, where you wouldn't think you'd find a gun. Uh, if you need to put it in a safe when you go to work, uh, make sure it's a large safe, something that can't be picked up and taken away. Well, along with hiding your guns, police gave us a few other tips for protecting your homes as well. They say a good way is with better locks. Also, an alarm system is a great way to keep intruders out. Police also suggest neighbors band together to keep an eye on each other's homes. And if you don't want to spend the money on an alarm system, police say a big dog will do the trick as well. Covering the big story live, Adam Rasmussen, Channel 2 News. Good tips. Okay. Thanks, Adam.